Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Rudy here with the Retro Universe, and today we are taking a look at the iPod and the iPod in 2024. I've seen a lot more people using iPods nowadays and finding a lot of videos that I came across while I was, you know, thinking about the iPods and seeing, you know, what kind of upgrades can be done to them nowadays. So uh, here is my original uh, fifth generation iPod Classic from back in the day when I was, I don't know, I want to say maybe like nine. 19 or 20 years old when this thing came out so uh this thing is pretty beat up um the big story with this one is it's been in a box for the longest time uh because anytime you would go to turn it on the apple logo would appear it would make a clicking sound and then it would shut right back off so at that time my interpretation of it was okay maybe the hard disk inside it is bad you hear that clicking sound so that was what led me to throwing in a box and it's been there for years uh i never got rid of it never threw it away i just i don't know there's a sentimental reason that i hung on to it and i'm really glad i did because the issue ended up being a bad battery um so yeah that's why it's really beat to hell uh unfortunately i didn't keep it in any kind of case it just was in a box and it came with me when we moved and everything as well um but we'll get to that in just a minute so these little iPod Nanos I actually got off of eBay a few years ago. Um, I think they were like maybe 10 or 15 bucks when I got them. And it, you can still get them for around that price. Um, but I was rocking these for a while because I, I had gotten an urge to get back into listening to music through uh, an iPod or some form of MP3 player that wasn't my phone. Uh, big thing with phones is that they can, you know, they're, they're just, they can have all sorts of distractions on them that when you're listening to music, you lose that kind of, you know, immersion in the music. And with with iPods and stuff, you, you just have your headphones on and that's it. There's no notifications that pop up on here. Nothing else that will make you say, ooh, let me go do this on this device, you know. Uh, not to say that I got rid of my phone. Of course, I still have my phone, but I am using it less and less. And eventually I'm gonna have a whole video on the reason for that. Um, but that's gonna take some time. So this is just to talk about the iPod and why in 2024 or even just in this time period, uh, a lot of people are navigating back to it. And there's a lot of great uh, modifications and upgrades you can make to them to breathe new life into them, which is really awesome. But yeah, these are just little iPod Nanos. These are like four gig uh, iPods. Um, so you can't store too much music on them, but they were they were great enough to where I can, you know, load a, a few hundred tracks and stuff. And uh, that's why I had two of them. I had one with, you know, some music and then I had the other one with other music. Uh, so I would, you know, take one or the other whenever I want to listen to some of that music. But those are great if you just if you don't plan on carrying a lot of music with you and, you know, really small and portable. Um, but I really missed my iPod Classic because it just it felt greater uh, to have with me. Um, overall the size compared to the nano but yeah so recently i actually um decided that i was finally going to go and replace the battery on this uh i wasn't sure how difficult it was going to be uh so i watched some videos and thankfully it actually was not that hard uh you literally just take you know you, i took a credit card to this right here to open it up i know there's spudgers other stuff you can use to pop it open but honestly i used the credit card it was enough to just slide in here you pop it out you you know you'll see a video on it but yeah replacing the battery was super easy and it was exactly what i was hoping would be the issue was the battery so upon replacing the battery i plugged it back in and you know it, it came back to life it might be dead because oh yeah there's um so yeah so after replacing the battery it came back to life um i ended up actually going ahead and still finding all of my music that was on there uh which was really awesome uh to find and then i went ahead and added some more stuff to it uh since then but yeah like this is really cool you know all it was was a battery and it still has the same hard disk in there so there's still a spinning little disk in there um and there's really cool modifications you can do like replacing that disk with a logic board where you can insert like a memory card uh 
uh, you know, a micro SD card or a regular memory card and stuff like that. There's even the compact flash cards you can put in there, uh, which is really cool if you want a larger size. This is just a 30 gig iPod, but um, you know, at the time and even now, it, that's more than enough for just music uh, and stuff on it. So uh, I was really happy to bring this guy back to life um, because honestly, going back to listen to music this way has really changed how I, you know, listen to music and I appreciate music overall because I'm just focused on listening to it. I'll bring it to bed with me sometimes instead of using my phone to like lull me to sleep and put on an album or something and just, you know, go that way and listen to music. Um, and it actually feels really nice. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so after uh, replacing the battery, I had actually ordered another iPod in the event that that wasn't the issue because I really wanted an iPod Classic. Um, so I was like, well, if it's not the battery and ends up being the hard disk, uh, like I could have probably ended up replacing that, but also it was so beat up. I'm like, well, I really want a white one. So uh, I got this guy off of eBay uh, for I think about like 40 or 45 bucks. Uh, it comes with a new battery already inserted, and this is the 60 gig model. You can definitely see the difference in thickness uh, there, which is weird though, because this one feels lighter than this one. Um, not sure what that's about. I haven't opened this up to see what's inside of it, but it's really strange to me how much lighter the 60 gigabyte one feels to the 30 gigabyte. Uh, it's just, yeah, a little strange. As soon as I took it out, I'm like, huh, like, is this even an actual iPod? But yeah, it to totally was an iPod. Um, so yeah, this has been my main driver now, the the white one, just because I something about white tech, like <laughs> I, I I don't know I don't know what it is about it, but it always seems more like uh, appealing and nice the way the way it looks. Um, but yeah, eventually I want to go ahead and get a new cover for this one. I know a lot of people on Reddit said it didn't look that bad, but um, it just yeah, it look it's it's super scratched up. But yeah, I mean listening to music on a proprietary device that was, you know, intended for music. Um, yeah, these iPod classics had video and actually have like some South Park episodes on here and stuff like that, but it was intended to be used for music and uh, the quality that comes out of these is amazing. Um, I know they say the iPod 5.5 uh, of the fifth gen is the better one, has a better uh, system inside of it, but honestly, I've really been enjoying these. Um, there's two options that I'll go about with listening to music. Uh, I'll either just use like the traditional, you know, traditional headphones, like these, the iPod ones. Uh, these were the ones that came with my iPhone, but uh, yeah, I mean, you can just use these traditional ones. Um, but also for better qual, like better quality or like noise canceling, I end up just using my Bose uh, headphones with a little cable and stuff and just connect them that way. So these, that's the thing is these older iPods don't have any Bluetooth on them. Um, so, you know, you're gonna have to connect a cable to them, but I think it's awesome um, seeing a lot of people go back to using iPods. And some people don't like iPods, so they'd go with like a Sony Walkman. Sony has some really, really nice, expensive MP3 players. If you go look like they're three, four, $500, uh, new mp3 players um that are really good as well but uh you know i grew up with the ipod and it was just the thing that i had to go back to because of course nostalgia runs in my blood and it's what i like to use you know whenever i'm uh listening to music but yeah guys i mean uh this is just something that i'm gonna have with me now hopefully it lasts a really long time um I ended up loading up the same music I had on this one on this guy, and there's still so much space left on it. Uh, I mean, these things were great. You could put music. Uh, I can't, for some reason, load audiobooks on it that I had in iTunes. So these were audiobooks that I had downloaded. And for some reason, when I tried to transfer them to iTunes or to the iPod, it says that it can't be played on it. So I'm not sure what's up with that, if the format is something different or if it only accepts audiobooks that were bought through iTunes. Um, so that's kind of a bummer because there were some that I had bought through Audible uh, and I was able to download them. And yeah, for some reason they won't play on here. So if anyone knows how to get those audiobooks from on here, please let me know down in the comments. Um, but yeah, I mean, what was cool about this is you also had video and I'll go ahead and go here. Um, I won't play much of this, but 
yeah, so that was really cool. You could put uh, South, you know, movies and TV shows and stuff on there that you can buy from iTunes back in the day uh, and put them on the iPod. Nowadays, you have to get like a converter software. And if you have any, you know, movies or TV shows on your computer, you can go ahead and format them for this format and then put them on here, which is really neat. Um, but that doesn't get too much play. The other thing, of course, is there are games, which are awesome. Uh, some of these games are very basic, but it's really cool, especially Brick. You know, if you remember playing this game back in the day, well, yeah, it's kind of hard to record, talk, and look at that thing. Um, but yeah, Brick was awesome, you know. Uh, it's a fun little game that just came with the iPods uh, around this time. And yeah, there's just a fun little mobile game back on the, <laughs> the original iPod and stuff, uh, or on these original iPods, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to go back to this and I, I'm hoping that more people are going to get into using iPods because it's it's just fun and it removes the whole streaming service stuff like Spotify that you have to subscribe to. So I'm going around looking for, you know, older CDs that I have and burning them to my computer, putting them on iTunes and then putting them onto the iPod, which just is taking me back to, you know, the mid 2000s when I would be doing that go buy albums or go to thrift stores and find, you know, CDs really cheap uh, just to burn them and then put them on here. You know, that's really awesome. And I'm really happy that uh, iPods are coming back in a way. And a lot of people, especially younger generation are finding them and seeing their appeal and, you know, why, why a lot of people are using iPods nowadays. But uh, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Um, thank you for watching. If you're using an iPod nowadays, let me know down in the comments if you're interested in getting one. I'd definitely look it up. Um, you can probably find a cheap one that says, like, the battery is bad. The battery is, like, $12 or $15, uh, and it's very easy to replace. You don't have to be some tech genius to replace the battery on these guys. Um, so it's still good that you look up a video on how to do it, but... Yeah, if you want to get one, check out eBay, check out Facebook Marketplace. Sometimes you can find them really cheap. Um, I've seen people get lucky at thrift stores, finding them for $10 or such, but that has not been the case for me. But that's going to do it, guys. Take it easy and have a great rest of your day.